Hey, what's up everyone? How's it going? MotoLabDirtBikes.com here. Just checking out the latest offerings from WP in the form of the Explore Fork, so which now includes Gas Gas, Husky, and KTM, all the uh, Enduro models. So uh, a couple tasteful changes. Uh, these forks in general, uh, you know, if you're just plonking along, uh, hard Enduro or just generally backyard cruising, weekend warrior status. Uh, they're just really going to do you, I think, just fine. They'll have a ton of complaints out of these. Um, you know, definitely getting a spring right for your weight is a great way to get a baseline, both front and rear. Uh, anyway, the couple tasteful changes we can see right off the bat are the spring guides. Really nice. They made a 22 millimeter machine ledge on there, so it's nice you can. Put your wrench in there and not have it slip off there just like the old ones did. Uh, for you guys at home working on your own stuff, uh, if you don't have access to a mill, uh, let's go ahead and, and use a, a grinder on that to get that baby thin enough to slip in there. And please don't use pliers on that stuff. And definitely do not want to put any clamp or you know pliers on these sensitive parts on the damper rod shaft there too. It's seen it done by dealers on brand new stuff and it is painful to see that kind of stuff so uh, let's see so going to changes beyond the spring guide uh, we've seen various valving combinations here from the first rendition in 2017 uh, throughout the different manufacturers uh, you know even though it's still all WP stuff uh, lots of different valving shim stacks uh, between the models here's a couple older ones and some of the newer ones obviously considerably different uh, you know, in the thickness and diameter and then the amount of shims as well. Uh, one of the things we saw right away here for 22 uh, is the lack of holes on the compression side of the fork here. So I'll get an old one for comparison. And you can see there's four. Um, shoot, I didn't measure them, I guess, about quarter inch holes. So essentially, I mean, this compression side fork really wasn't doing much before. I mean, if you'd imagine that you have that fixed piston and it's just compressing oil, it's just bleeding off right through those ports. So they considerably reduce that. I mean, that diameter here is, if I had a guess, maybe, heck, I don't know, a couple sixteenths of an inch or something like that, maybe two, three millimeters, and no other holes all the way around. So definitely having that leg do a lot more. Yeah, I think they aim to considerably stiffen the fork and even went up considerably in the fork spring rate as well. Uh, just measuring the coil diameter and based on the previous offerings from WP it appears to be around a four or five kg per millimeter spring right there. So uh, definitely look to stiffen these things up and hopefully make them more progressive all throughout the stroke and uh, not be as wallowy out there. So uh, let's see beyond that, uh, just valving changes here. You got the rebound side, traditional piston, looks like they have a two stage rebound. I don't know if you can see if we can get that to focus. Um, so I've seen them go extremely light on the rebound stacks in the few uh, previous uh, years here, but this one's uh, considerably thicker, uh, which you know is, is more appropriate for the heavier springs and whatnot too. So uh, still standard mechanical piston valve has a tapered. There's no way we'll be able to see inside there, but. Uh, I did used to have one apart here. I'm sorry I don't have one in this video. But, uh, yep, so for the most part, generally changed. A few uh, nice things done, but overall, it'd be cool to get some time and some testing on these forks to check them out, see if they could do stock, and come up with some different valving combos uh, based on the new restricted compression port on there. And uh, give you guys some feedback, or whatever, too. But, uh, I think so far, I haven't really made, had too many complaints, you know, just for you guys just plonking along out there. But if you're Enduro or uh, any other higher speed stuff, I mean, it absolutely will not work. You're going to have to resort to uh, aftermarket stuff, you know, uh, Olin's, WP cartridge kits. Um, you know, there is a bit of a conversion that you could do on these, turn it back to a fully functional, uh, uh, symmetrical style where it has like the old school adjustable base valves on there and you actually replace this mechanical piston here with uh, uh, an old actually truly full functioning compression and rebound side 
So both forks uh, function just like your 2016 and prior KTM open chamber fork. So, which is a great cost effective way to do that. Uh, and then obviously the inserts go up from there, you know, nine to $1,500 on up. And uh, anyway, so just gives you a brief little insight on these. Uh, one other side note that we notice here, uh, and you're probably not gonna be able to see it in the oil, <clears throat> probably because it's all settled to the bottom is just it's a ton of crap that come in these things stock and you definitely want to take and service them after 10 hours just you know even if you got to do it at home or have your local shop do it or whatever just dump the oil about five i'm sorry at about 10 hours on there and that's what they recommend in the book and that's what we recommend doing as well because it is just absolutely full of garbage <clears throat> you've got a lot of surface area brand new components just just been hanging out in warehouses and shelves and as much as they try and keep the stuff clean it will drag a bunch of particulate matter and garbage in there and got a lot of new machine surfaces that are being seeded so definitely want to go ahead and get that stuff changed out of there so hope everyone's doing well out there uh, give us a call check out our new number here 423-900-2233 and if you want that free quote just go ahead and fill out the form on motolabdirtbikes.com and we'll definitely get right back to you uh, within the same or next business day. So hope everyone's doing well out there and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.